Hello and welcome, this is Angie. Thank you for joining me for another tutorial. Today we're going to cover off the basics for SMD LEDs in card making. SMD being a surface mount device and a LED being a light emitting diode. These are what you use for light up cards. So first things first, you'll require somewhere to store your items to keep them secure. For the project, you'll require a bone folder, a pair of scissors, some 3 volt button cell batteries, some conductive copper tape. You'll also need a piece of card to use as your switch or battery housing. It should be big enough to cover the battery when folded in half and a backing paper for your paper circuit. Then you'll need the 5050 SMD LEDs like you see here. These come in strips with the plastic protective covering over the front that you lift up to pop the LEDs out. Then you'll require some packing tape or sellotape to secure the LED down or you can use super glue. And that's a basic summary of the equipment required. So now that we know what's required for the card, I thought we'd go through some basics on what these products are and what they do and what they're for. So the CR2032, as I've got in front of you, battery is a button cell 3 volt battery. You can use any 3 volt button cell battery. It's all about the voltage, not the size of the battery or the number of the battery. You can just search for any 3 volt button cell battery. 3 volts is the minimum charge to run these lights. Next we'll talk about the SMDs. These are 5050 SMD LEDs. They come in this plastic housing as you can see and they have a see-through section at the top which just easily peels away. If you're having trouble peeling it away you can cut them out. Now as you can see this is a very very small light. It's about 5 mil squared. The top part there which I've zoomed in on is where the light comes out of and on the rear those are basically where the charge runs through so those are the parts that need to connect to the copper tape. One side is a positive, one side is a negative. You won't know until you're actually testing it as to which side is which. Now about the tape, you do require conductive copper tape. This is 5mm, you can get thicker ones. I tend to work with the 5 mil, and some people even cut this in half down the middle to get double the length. This roll is 20 meters long. You can get double sided conductive tape, however I find single sided is sufficient for my card making needs. So today we're going to make a paper circuit like what you can see on screen. Down at the bottom right is the switch and battery housing. You pop the battery in with the plus to the plus and the minus to the minus and apply pressure or push the switch down to have the voltage running. Then you pop the SMD with one lot of connection points along the plus and one lot of connection points along the minus. If it is not in the correct orientation as in the plus to the minus and the minus to the plus, the light will not light up. If you've tried it both ways and it's not working, you may need to apply a slight amount of pressure to test the light. Now for the fun part, making our own circuit. So you'll need to attach the switch to the backing. I suggest doing it in the orientation like you see on screen, as I find this the easiest way to have the tape running over the switch to connect the voltage or have the voltage running with pressure as in a switch. And now we'll start to draw our circuit. Trust me, it's not as scary as it sounds. So we're basically just running a line out from the positive and I'm going to grab my T-ruler to draw the other line in because whenever I freehand it, it goes terribly wrong. So I'm just running a positive line up from one side and then you'll see I'm drawing that um, line over the switch that I mentioned before. And this is to show where the copper tape will run over that switch part. I've marked it with a plus for the positive to know which side of the battery will face up. Now I'm drawing our negative line using my T ruler again because when I freehand it, it turns out terrible. You need to make sure that these lines do not touch but that they are close enough together. As you've seen, 
the SMD is very small and those connection points are very close together. But you do need to make sure that the lines are not touching and that your copper tape is not touching or the circuit will not work. As you can see, here's the LED. The connection points are very close together and it is a very small device. So I'm just going to mark out the negative as we did with the positive so we know that this is the line that will run along the bottom of the battery. So now I'm just going to get my conductive copper tape and my scissors and snip a bit off long enough for me to run the entire circuit. That should be enough. Grab my scissors and snip that off. Now I'll just remove the adhesive backing and I'm running the positive line first, just my preference. Then I'm doing a sharp turn there so I'm bending the tape up and then folding it over. You don't want the tape to rip, especially when you're working with single sided conductive. Once I've got that corner done, I'm just going to bring the tape down, smooth it right up against that switch part so that it's not going to break over time with use and, and pressing up and down. And then once I've got that over the switch, I'm going to cut it so that I can use the remaining piece that I've cut off for my negative. And I'm going to start along where the negative side of the battery will sit. Again, I'm going to fold the copper tape backwards, pop my fingernail on there and pull it down to get that 90 degree turn. It's a bit fiddly, but with practice it gets easier. Now I'm going to run the line up, do another turn by folding the tape over, pressing my nail in and then pulling it down to get that neat 90 degree angle. Again, being very careful to make sure that the connection points and the tape, sorry, is not connecting to the other side of the tape. And then if there's any excess, I'll cut that off, but I think I've, met, I've eyeballed that one just bang on. Now you do need to grab your bone folder at this point to really press that copper tape down so that you're getting a good run of the current through that tape. So do give it a really good smooth over, as you can see here. And now we're ready to test the circuit. Pop the battery in negative to negative, positive to positive, and pop the light in the correct orientation, and we have magic. You've now completed a paper circuit. So now you're ready to make your own light up cards. I hope you'll give this a go. Here's a card that I made on another occasion. I just love this one. These are stars shining in the night. You'll also find a step-by-step -step tutorial on my channel on how to make the card you see in front of you. Thank you for joining me.